Well, Martin, thanks for letting us come to see you. So I'm amazed we, we've not been here before, but the kennels have been here for an awful long time, haven't they? Yeah, a, a real long time. Um, Kenny Asher, who was a trainer at Romford, and this poor my dad uh, took over in the 70s. And uh, yeah, we've been here 40 odd years, uh, training here, dad before me, and I, I took over my dad when I, when he stepped, I'm not gonna say retired, because he's still very much an active part of the business, but when he stepped down from training, um, I, I took over from him. I'm guessing oh, around 15 years ago now. But I'm guessing you've been involved, haven't you, since you were knee-high, surely? Yeah, my, my, my dad's got uh, uh, pictures of me, um, you know, when I was about four or five, running around with a dog on a lead then. So, yeah, I've, it's certainly been part of my life for, for as long as I can remember. I have to say, first impressions we come in here is just how smart it looks, how well organised everything looks. Well, yeah, that's, thank you, and that's what we we try to do you know we we're looking after people's dogs we're looking after their hobbies we you know people are paying us for a service they deserve the best that we can give them and over the years you've obviously developed lots of facilities uh, to enhance your training re regime in terms of we've got what a whirly gig here we've got a swimming pool yeah we, so we we've uh, always had the gallop and uh, you know we've got a designated swimming pool for you know rehabilitation and fitness during the summer and uh, this year we put in a whirly gig, so yeah, it's, it's quite a big one. It's not your average one, but uh, it holds 40 odd tons of sand. So yeah, we, we, we try to maintain a year round uh, training regime. So in the summer when some people's gallops are too hard to use, we can use the swimming pool. You know, in the winter when things are frozen, we should be able to use the whirly gig if we cover it and treat it right. So yeah, we try to provide a, a year round operation, if you like. I'm fascinated by your, and I'm very impressed by your treatment room. I've not come across anything yeah. like that before. Well, we felt that the uh, injuries that uh, greyhounds do uh, pick up from time to time, no different from a sportsman, need facilities to be able to treat them. You, you wouldn't go and see uh, a physio yourself in an area that wasn't clean and able to treat, so we don't ask the dogs to do it, and we don't ask the vet to come down to our kennels and look at dogs in a non-clean environment. Uh, we we felt that it was important to have an environment that those can be treated in a clean and safe area. Martin, those who know you well, of course, will know that uh, I say fitness is more than that. You know, you, you're, you're an Iron Man. You did the, the, the ride London across the 100 miles, which you probably did without any thought at all, very straightforward. I, I wonder, are you able to use th those skills to, to help the greyhounds in any way? Yeah, very much so. Um, the personal training qualification I took and the Ironman coaching one I took certainly has uh, a payback into ground racing where I understand anatomy a, a lot better, I understand fitness a lot better, I understand the way that fuels uh, burnt in uh, humans uh, much better and therefore I went off and researched it how, how it translates into greyhounds and I've adapted what I've learned from them courses into the, the greyhound training, uh, along with consultation with vets, uh, certainly ground sports medicine and uh, Deborah T. I've you know listened to what they've had to say and then adapted it to what fits in with our regime. So yes, they have had a real payback, if you like, for what we what I do as a, a proper living. It's a real good atmosphere here, isn't there? I, I love the way yourself and the staff, you've got your gables, kennels, shirts on, etc. You get a feeling it's a good place to be here. We try to uh, have a, a real team atmosphere with, with the staff. You know, there's no job that they do that I won't do. You, you know, there's no airs and graces here. Um, you know, and they, they quite often put me in my place as well. But uh, yeah, we certainly have a, a good working relationship here. And you know, Abby, uh, that's worked with me for years, uh, my assistant trainer, is invaluable to us. Like, you, you know, she puts in a real, real long shift and is a real hard, dedicated worker.